Hey guys, today we are going to learn about the defense battle, protecting the crystals. This is a new event that's being implemented in SAO in the Girl Factor. And we're going to look into what this is about. And the format of this video is going to be we're going to look into the rank reward first, and then the dungeon or the battle format, and the different type of enemies that the, uh, the event have. And then we are also going to learn about the score breakdown and see how we can maximize the score. And at the end, I'm going to show you the tips on whether you want to do it solo or when you want to do it on a party. Okay, so first thing first, let's just take a look into the event rewards. And the normal difficulties, uh, when you get an S score, you can get a record kit S, one of them, and record frame L and crystals and the other rewards that's in there. So this is the important thing that the reward is based on the score or the ranks that's in there. And they have three difficulties and the second one is the advanced difficulties and you can get a release crystal S on when you get an S score. That's one of them. And in Maniac, you can get a release crystal S three of them when you can get uh, the S rank. And it's uh, very difficult to get the S rank. I think you really need a good party and high level uh, people at it as well. Okay, so uh, you can look at the rest of them yourself and we'll just dive into the format of the battle. So uh, when you get into uh, the dungeons, there's a crystal there you need to destroy before you start. But before we go further, let's take a look into the uh, stuff that's on the top left corner there. So we have a thing that's called a wave the time and the clear conditions on there explained uh, on the top left corner of the displays there. So we in total we have five waves and uh, it will have a different clear conditions on each one. So let's go back to the beginning. So on the wave zero is basically it has the 120 seconds there. So if you don't destroy the crystal it will still start the first wave. And on the first wave after you destroy the crystal now the clear condition is changed into defeat 20 monsters. So the monster will come from all four directions. So you and your party need to prevent the monster from getting close to your crystal and attacking the crystals. And on the second uh, wave, the condition changed to protect the defense target. So on here, uh, the time is actually set to 60 seconds. So in 60 seconds, a wave of monster will come to your crystals and you need to repel them all uh, until the time runs out. So on the third wave, the condition is defeat 30 monsters and the time is set at 120 seconds in there. So this is a little bit different because you will have a sub boss appears in there which is that uh, spider, the big spiders. And after you defeat the boss or un until a certain time is passed then waves of monster will come and attack your crystal. So you need to defeat 30 of them to clear the stage. And then on the fourth wave it changed back to protect the defense uh, target which is about the same as the uh, second wave before but in here you will get uh, you'll see this new type of monsters appearing in there and there will be more monsters uh, showing up from the different gates and the fifth one uh, it's need, we need to defeat 40 monsters the format is pretty similar to wave 3 except for this one you'll have the boss monster showing up which is the Cobalt King right there. Cobalt King is weak to Slash and Dark and after half of the HP they will have a Rust Recollection just like uh, the uh, Chaos bosses. So other than the Cobalt King, the enemy that shows up on this dungeon includes the Aqua Slimes which is the slowest of them, uh, of them all and it has a weakness of a Blunt and Earth. Then the next monsters that we're going to see is this wasp over here which is the fastest from all the mobs and the wasp has a weakness of the thrust and water and after that 
we're going to see on the third type of monsters that we see in here which is the bat so this bat here have a weakness of the trust and win and the bat is the second fastest monsters in the dungeon and next we have the shroomman here that is weak to slash and fire the shroomman is a little bit slower than the bat and knowing this enemy weaknesses and the speed is very important on defeating this boss or the dungeon also for completions the enemy uh, sub boss spider here is weak to trust and holy so keep in mind on those weaknesses and that should help you on setting up your uh, set before you get into the dungeon so uh, next let's take a look into the uh, the score calculations and what determines the higher points that you can get on this dungeon so like any other score based event dungeons the dungeon have a survival point based on how many people you have in your party and the point is 25 uh, points per person and there is a time bonus in there which is uh, the faster you beat the dungeons then the higher the points you get and then there is a clear bonus is always 50 points the first attack is 5 points per monsters and the first attack boss is 25 points per boss monsters and there are two boss monsters there the last attack is uh, 10 points per monsters and the last attack boss is 50 points there's a defense target HP which that means that uh, the lower the uh, crystal HP is the lower your points in there so if you can maintain it at the highest as possible I think max you get is 500 but I don't I'm not sure on that one and then the last one is always fixed at 500 I think it just means that if you complete the dungeon then you get 500 points okay so uh, let's get into the tips here so I got the full party and this is on the level 110 the maniacs one so in the maniacs you probably need the full party to beat the level so the, uh, the first tips there is that to wait for all of your uh, party members to come in before you destroy the crystals I know that the timer is keeps on running uh, in there so just make sure that uh, everybody comes in at the same time so that you will get the higher points based on the clear times and so the second tips that I learned for beating this dungeon is to always have one person station on each gate so you, if you have six people uh, party members you will have one person on the north one person on the east one person on the west and one person on the south and the rest of the two people will be protecting the crystals just in case that there are more monsters that uh, that person that's uh, keeping the gate cannot beat so in these situations that yeah you always have to aggro the monsters uh, before you get close to the gate and then the, per the person who is uh, staying close to the crystal is just going to take care of the remaining just in case that some monsters gets away from that person so uh, you, the important thing in here is to trust your party member so even though you see that you don't have any monster showing up on your gate don't run away and try to help yet unless you're sure that there will be no monster showing up which I will uh, show it to you later and because on each stages they will uh, have a different situation or conditions so if you really really need to help of the other party members make sure it only helps the people who is really next to you so in my example if I'm on the north gate I'm not going to go down at the south gate because that will take more time and more monster will go past me and next is on the weapons uh, it's, this is very obvious uh, I think but make sure that you have an AOE skills equipped because the monsters always come in groups <laughs> and uh, let's get into the tips on the wave 3 here so the wave 3 is when the sub boss appears so what we do in here is that um, since I'm on the north gate and the sub boss appears on the north gate for sure I'll go and fight this boss and then the two of uh, our team members which is protecting the crystals also come to aid me to beat the boss as soon as possible while the rest of the member are keeping uh, the monster away from the, their respective gates so I think this is a very efficient way of that and 
once that's done uh, I go back and help the people that is on my right and my left sides and <laughs> that's because I know that there will be no monster showing up on the north gate after I defeat the boss on this wave 3 so I have the uh, leniencies to go and help other on the different gates next tips on the weapon and the skills make sure that you equip all AOE skills on your weapon uh, of your choice and spear is also a very good choice of weapon because a normal attack is already an AOE uh, attack so it's easier to collect the agro, the agro of the enemy and also make sure that you if you can they have a weapon type and the element type of the enemy weakness like in this example here I switched to blunt weapon and earth skills uh, because like the slime enemy here is weak to blunt and earth so if I have those uh, weapon and skill type it will make sure that I can beat the uh, wave easier and faster so I mentioned the enemy weakness earlier and if you have the skills of those type make sure to utilize them also uh, remember that other than the uh, AOE or non-AOE uh, the skill animations and the skills uh, cooldown is also important so if you can get like the skills that with lower cooldown that will make sure that you can use the skills more often and it's easier to clear the wave that way and on the wave 5 it's similar strategy in wave 3 so since I'm on the north gate I'm facing the boss again and the two of our team members who's protecting the crystal will come to aid me on beating the boss as soon as possible and the rest is going to protect the crystals from four different, uh, three different sites <laughs> so on wave 5 it's a little bit different than wave 3 because if you remember on wave 3 there will be no monster that's coming from the north gate after you beat the sub boss but on here there's there are actually monsters that shows up on the north gate after you beat the boss so I was careless here and was uh, going to aid uh, people on a different gates and I was neglecting my own north gate so if you were uh, doing this stage don't be like me and just stay on your north gate and protect that area or stay on your gate and protect the area before you go and help other people because as you can see there like my my kid is the one that's constantly getting attacked because I was running around so uh, that's uh, pretty much it the tip for the party and if you decided to go solo like what I did on level 50 earlier I would suggest you to uh, take the assist character instead of uh, just using Koharu because one the assist character can attack the monster by themselves so as long as you stay close to the crystal uh, the assist, your assist character can go and protect other sides of them and that's the second tip that I'm going to say if you are doing solo as well just stay close to your crystal as, in, as much as possible so that way you can maximize the roaming ability of the assist characters and that is it and if you have any questions let me know in the comment below I'll try to answer as much as I can and I want to say a special thank you to the Valkyrie Guild member for helping me on uh, clearing the stage and making this video happen to Zero, uh, Yua, Ismena, Ayla and Ten thank you all and I'll see you in the next I see you in the Growl Factor video bye now